Hello, this is Chiak. We are back with Silver Creek Falls. This time, chapter three, the last chapter, I believe, in the Silver Creek Falls series. So either way, let's get started. Uh, last time, the, the sheriff has come back from the depths of secrets of where we don't know where he was. So let's see if Sarah can get some answers. Oh, who's, wait. Hello and welcome back to Silver Creek Falls. The controls are the same as before, okay? We'd like to kindly remind you that there are puzzles that combine logic, memory, and knowledge. Frequent saves and use of a pen and paper to take notes about details is recommended. Two weeks before the incident. Okay. This is, a. Uh, this is way before. Hold on. Fortunately... I did not save some information that I had playing a different game from my boogie board, which you don't know if that is basically... Think of it like an etching sketch, but I... But, you know, less actual pen, a stylus, <laughs> than, than the little two little knobs to make digits. D... And you, one, two, three, four, seven, and twelve. Okay. Here we go. I got my uh, pen and paper, so to speak, ready. And lower my stylus is. That's a bit concerning, but I can use something else easily. Either way, two weeks before the incident, so Silver Creek Falls, Munich, Bravia, Germany. Find the police station and speak to Polizio... Polizio... Ber oh, I do not know how to say that. Don't get run over. I don't know if that's a thing that can happen. Okay. Did I find it? Please tell me I just found it right away. It was just straight ahead. What? I don't know. This is the police station. Hello. Ah, never mind. Hey, wait! Hi! You're a familiar face. Uh, eek. Nope, not gonna try. Not gonna try. Ah, uh, Inspector Welsingham, am I correct? Ah, you speak English. Wonderful. Sorry, my awful German is so obvious. <laughs> a little. <laughs> but it's fine. German is a very hard language, so we appreciate it when people try to speak it. Okay, yep, yep. told me he was meeting you this morning. No, wait, that's a name? Okay. Told me he was, maybe it's inspector. Like, basically, an inspector and then Hoizel? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, he was meeting you this morning. I think he should be ready to see you now. Wonderful. I'm gonna assume Danke. <laughs> Thank you very much, maybe? Okay. Hello, another... Elderly inspector. Hans, how are you, old friend? The gold star suits you. Mark Wilco Wilcomen. Oh, welcome. Uh, have you had breakfast yet? Yes, I had a strudel with some hot chocolate earlier. So, is your team ready? Have they gone through the drills I instructed? Yes, we've run them quite a few times. I must say, Mark, it sure feels great being back in action. It will be good to work side by side again. About that. I'll be here to help drill and brief your team, but unfortunately, I have to fly to, s to the U.S. next week to finalize some business. So, is this it? Yep, the big fish. I can leave this in your care. Don't worry, I won't fail you, old friend. I know you won't, Hans. Present day unknown location, Birdie County, North Carolina. Oh. You can park your car overnight here, son. I know the owner of this convenience store. Okay then, can we go to the hotel? I know this fantastic hotel not too far away from here. They have ears everywhere. We'll talk up in my cabin, let's go. Can we at least talk about what just happened? You rushed us straight to the car and had us help drive here way over the speed limit. <laughs> That's what you're worried about? <laughs> Theoretically, we should have stayed with the bodies and called in reinforcements. There was no time. Besides, more men were coming and I would have had to fight them all off. Let's go to my cabin, we'll talk more there. It's just beyond this path you see here. 
Oh, this path. Sorry, this path. <laughs> My cabin is just up there to the left. We need some firewood and some food for the night. You guys tired? A bit, but it's okay. What do you need? Take the little path to the right and keep following it. You should see a little orchard I've set up. Please pick up some fruit and some firewood. No problem. Okay. Ah, oh boy. Okay, so let's go to the... Right? I'm actually still looking for my... <laughs> the stylus for the... Where did it go? Hold on. It's underneath my keyboard. So, are we going to talk about what just happened? I'm still a bit shocked, to be honest. Thank God Lee Davis was there to save us. But how did he know we'd be there? Let's not forget that he did leave clues behind for other cops to find out what he knew. It's not impossible to assume that he'd be tracking us too. Do you think we can trust him? Yeah, he could have killed us right after killing those guys in hazmat suits, but he didn't. Clearly he wants to work with us to solve the case. I guess. But we really should have stayed at the crime scene and waited for reinforcements. Shall I call the Birdie County Police? Please don't. This time you're here with the FBI instead of by invitation from local police, so we should keep it in the FBI hands. I'll give my unit chief a call when we get to the orchard. Sounds good. We're gonna get caught because they can like either give the info or they triangulate the cell phone. God. Little to the right. This is not little. If this is little, then what the hell does the path to the left look like? Here we go. All nicely... I'm going to call my unit chief now. Have a rest for a while if you like. I'll pick some fruit with you when I'm done talking. It's okay, I'm not too tired anyway, so I'll pick some now. I'll be back when I've picked enough. Cool. Thanks a lot. From the green cheese? Okay, from the green cheese. What about the firewood? How many apples do we need? <laughs> okay. Already been here. Okay, I don't know if I need to go to every single tree. Okay, the little ones don't count. Okay. First row, second row, third row. Never mind, that's enough. That's it. Are, are we just seeing his apples, huh? So what did your union chief say? He told me to stick with Lee Davis for now as he is a person of interest. They're sending a team over to that secret lab to investigate. That looked really bad, just like the rooms in the sorority. You really think it was human experimentation? We'll know after the FBI team gets there. I already sent my chief the photos from inside so he has an idea of what type of crew to send. Besides, I have a feeling this case isn't so simple. Yeah, if there's if it's government involved contracts, there might be uh, some issues. <laughs> we should talk to Lee Davis and see what he knows. He's been following this case from the shadows for a while. Surely he knows something we don't. Okay. Is that rock gonna block me? Yeah, that rock is gonna block me. But what about the firewood, you guys? Oh my god, I was supposed to pick the firewood from these trees. That's why this path was so long. It's the last tree here. I think. I think we have enough firewood and apples. Let's head back. Okay.
Where the hell? The path to the left was way shorter. <laughs> this cabin is huge, let me just say. Can't talk anything there. Can I look in your locker first? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I appreciate it if you didn't look through my stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, I don't know you, you don't know me. We're just trying to... Just being a bit wary. Welcome to my cabin. Did you get the fruit and firewood? Yes, here it is. Thanks. So, can we talk about what just happened? Everyone in Silver Creek Falls thinks you're either dead or you abandoned them. I feared this, but they don't understand. Understand what? I had no choice. Here, make yourselves comfortable. It's a long story. Go on. After I finish at the scene of the car crash, I decide to look over the bloodbath at the sorority house again. It was, after all, the scene that contained the most evidence. Something about it bothered me, and I knew something about it was so off. It was a house full of blood, nothing about it was right. I mean the fact that there were no signs of forced entry, that someone achieved so much carnage with no resistance in entering the house. It's bizarre. It's true. Normally you think after the first murder at least one of the other girls would have heard something and locked themselves in their room, or tried to escape or fight the perpetrator. Exactly. Furthermore, it was their neighbors that reported what they had heard singing and chanting. So they were all in the same room. Isn't it strange that they didn't hear screams if they had been assaulted? Yes. So I went there to investigate it again. As I walked through to the bedrooms, I heard a faint scratching in the room most to the right. I walked to the room, and as I entered the room, I caught a brief look at... What was it? It's mighty hard to describe. It was the size of a full-grown man, but had a smooth coat like a beaver, or an otter, but the hair was whitish-gray. What? I only caught a brief look as it then lunged at, lunged at me and attacked me. It knocked me down to the floor and began trying to pin me down. Fortunately, I was able to push it off and punch it in the chest. As I stood up, it lunged at me again, but I was able to land a hook on its face and I knocked it back two or three feet. It then scurried away into one of those giant holes in the ground. My god. So those do lead somewhere. So what did you do after? I realized that whatever I had just fought was not normal. I had already felt a presence tailing me for a while, so I knew then I was truly not safe. I then packed up my stuff, left the note and casket, ca cassettes, casket, <laughs> cassettes for someone to find and redeploy to my secret cabin. You banned your town, you coward. Why did you do it? Sarah, calm down and let the man speak. Let's not forget, he just saved our lives. Military strategy. When you do not know your enemy, it is best to redeploy to buy time so you, one can analyze the situation. I knew that if I typed my report telling it as it happened and then requested reinforcements, no one in Relay would have believed me. So I did what I had to. I disappeared. Why didn't you tell Deputy Hill? Simple. I expected the boy to inform us, to inform his superiors in Relay that I had gone missing so they wouldn't assign a new sheriff. Of course, he just faked your signature and got Inspector Moore and I on this case instead. And later the FBI too. It all went even better than I expected, theoretically. What do you mean by theoretically? My strategy was to investigate from the shadows. It's a lot easier to keep your eyes on things like this when you don't have to appear in the public eye. Furthermore, I expected the pressure from the FBI to show cracks in the case and finally reveal who was behind all this. But then the FBI pulled out of the case and only left Agent West and myself. Someone with some power pulled people away from this investigation. That's so suspicious. So how was it that you were in the exact right place to save Agent Valdez and myself? I had actually been tailing you two after Agent West was murdered, which is why I also left you those convenient clues so you could follow and find out what I knew and perhaps use your status, Agent Valdez, as the FBI agent to then be able to go, to, to go deeper into the case. I see. So when we discovered the secret lab, why didn't you reveal yourself to us so you could go inside as well? Just as you two reached the park and en entered the lab, I saw a group of armed men approaching. I knew they meant to eliminate you two, so I killed them and hid their bodies. After that, I stood guard close to the secret lab in case they sent more men, which they did at the end. 
Thanks for that. Just doing my duty, son. So, what did you see inside? Here, let me show you the photos I- Here, let me show you the photos I took. Wrong person. <laughs> Is it okay if I go and lie down for a while? We were up all night in that secret lab. Certainly. Go ahead and use my bedroom. I just put in fresh she sheets. Okay. No locks. Okay, it just says he values his privacy. Okay, I think that's really the only thing we're gonna get. Some uh, stuff might go down after we wake up. I don't know. What? Why? Why am I dreaming? There's little ghost orbs. <laughs> I see those ghost flames. What in the world? <laughs> Ooh. Welcome, traveler. Where am I? This place is known as Espera, the home of Espers. Espera? You are a seeker of truth, no? Go forth and hear the chants of the Espers. Okay. This went from sci fi to super natural. Everyone in this sorority died because of me. It's all my fault. I can never let this go. They will never. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> you know what? Let's just talk normally, because I'm losing my voice from that. <laughs> I can never let this go. They will never forgive me. Esper Gem Collected. Okay. I was the first in my family to go to college. They were all so proud of me when I got accepted. Now what? Rebecca, where are you? What happened to us? Colonel, can you hear me? Did I do my duty? I hope so. Oh, <laughs> that's a painful one. <laughs> the guy was trying. I worked so hard, took two jobs to pay the bills. I could have been a doctor. I should have been a doctor. I'm trying to remember who that is. This place in Espers, they're so sad. Who are you? I am who... Who I am is not important. Have I died? Are you an angel? Angel? It's funny. I haven't heard that term for so long. Some would call me an angel. Others would call me a demon. I also go by the title of the interloper, the guardian of Vespers, or patron of truth. Call me Alpheus for now. I know you humans enjoy calling each other by first names. Humans? Brother, I'm so sorry. I should have listened. Now my blood mixes with the hot sand. Swip ponte. I didn't ask for this. I thought real police didn't die. Real policemen didn't die. This job was supposed to be easy. I was such a fool. All I wanted to do was to protect my country. I worked so hard and followed all the rules. They say the greatest honor of those like me is to die in the line of duty. Was it all worth it? I hope Leia will f be fine now that I'm gone. I hope they don't come after her. I miss her so much. I wish I could see her beautiful smile one last time. Okay, so we that's the uh, the financial guy. Vespers, are they the souls of those killed? Souls? Yes, I believe that is what you humans call it. The Espers represent the voices of those who left you early. Those whose time was cut short by injustice. Their voices muted. The espers represent their dreams, desires, and regrets, their love and their soul. I tend to them here in my garden, but it must be a seeker like you who must find their truth so they can reach fr fr fruition and be at peace. You have spent ta enough time here, seeker. It's time for you to return. Farewell, seeker. Wait, I have so many questions. I know you do. That is why I made you their seeker. Wait, what? 
The sun is rising. I must go see her. Wait, what? What? Will I ever see you again? Yes, in time. Farewell. The next day. Everything okay here, guys? Boy, that was a really weird dream. We need to go find Lee and Valdez. Anything with this carpet? Bed is all made up. No comment. Check the tree. Nope. He has quite the collection of books. Same thing again. <laughs> I'm sorry. A traps? Okay, Valdez, you're out here. Good morning, Sarah. Did you sleep well? Like a baby, thanks, Valdez. Actually, I kind of had a weird dream. But I'm sure babies get weird dreams, too. Uh, by the way, I never got your first name. Rodrigo. Named after my grandfather. In high school and college, everyone called me Rod, though. Rod. Cool. So, any news from your unit chief? They're going to be doing- they're going to do a major investigation into Bolt Pharmaceutical and try- and try to scrap up enough evidence for a case. Enough evidence? Didn't they look inside the lab? When the crew got there, the computers had been wiped blank and the rooms cleaned up. Damn it! I knew we should have stayed. How about the bodies? Also gone. Their security must have detected the intrusion and must have also gone suspicious after those hazmat guys didn't come back. They cleaned up really quickly. This stinks. We should have stayed. No, I think Lee made the right call yesterday. They might have sent a larger force and we would have been outmanned and outgunned. I don't know about you, but I'm more of an investigation specialist. I'm not much of a fighter. I can shoot, but I'm not a seasoned veteran like Lee. I fired my weapon a few times when I was a Massachusetts state trooper, but you're right. We were in a bad position to fight. On that subject, where is Lee? My unit chief wanted me to bring in Lee so he could answer a few questions. I told Lee and he said he'd much rather not, as he'd been enjoying his newfound anonymity. Besides, a strong old soldier like Lee? Are you kidding me? How can I bring him in? I'm going to tell my unit chief that he slipped away in the night. Fair enough. What really happened? The man saved my life. I respect him way too much to ask him to come in. This morning, he and I had breakfast and he left soon after. I agreed to cover him. I agreed to cover him. We shook hands and he went on his way. Who knows what adventures lie next for him? What? Is he just leaving? <laughs> I, are we still on? We're both on the investigation, right? <laughs> what about us? Are we going back to the lab to investigate more? Huh. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've been taken off the case. I've been moved to another one. They want me to go to Tulsa, Oklahoma to look into this old Clyde character. They want me to see if he has any relation to the case in Walleye Head. What about me? Sorry, Sarah, but since I'm off the case, that means you're off the case too. I'm flying to Oklahoma tonight. We can go to the airport together, and I've been instructed to buy your ticket back to Virginia for you. This really stinks. I can't believe you're just fine with being taken off the case. That happens more often than you think. You have to remember that it was Agent West who was the senior agent, not me. They wanted to put someone more experienced on it now. I'm sorry, Sarah. I guess I have no choice. Shall we go to the car? Yeah. The security detail is going to meet us at the convenience store. They should be there by now. Okay. Oh. Well, there's the security detail. Thanks for walking me to my car. What? I wasn't born yesterday. I know you still want to stay on this case and finish it. I know flying you to Virginia isn't going to stop you working on this case. Lee gave me this note to give to you. It's for your eyes only. Open it later. It will tell, it will tell you where you can find him. There's still work to be done. Valdez, I don't know what to say. I'll see you around, Sarah. In the National Barbecue or Pizza Related Competition, and you know I'm there. Goodbye, Special Agent Valdez. <laughs> he puts on glasses. Take care, Detective Fitzgerald. 
Are we gonna actually see you Oh, look at you driving away. <laughs> Luckily, your security detail didn't notice her at all. Hmm, a very fine Lee. Let me check that note he left with Valdez. Okay. Due east of the convenience store, there is a small village by the lake. There is more work to do. Find me there. <laughs> you know the worst part about this? She's been left without a car, so she just has to walk there. Due east. Isn't this east? Okay, just making sure that upwards is not south or anything. Okay. Am I... Oh, there, I see. There's a path. I just saw the little brick path there. Makes sense. Don't walk along the road. <laughs> okay, never mind. We're walking along the road. Mind you, there's pavement, but still. <laughs> Okay, so we need to find Davis here. And that's the only instruction. Oh! Detective Fitzgerald, I see you received my note. Special Agent Valdez gave it to me. He told me you he told me about you and the FBI. It's a shame he was moved to another case. Valdez is a good man. I don't blame him for taking the easy way out. What's that supposed to mean? Don't you understand what's happening? A very powerful person was about to be exposed by his investigation and decided to pull strings to have him reassigned. Bolt? Perhaps. Or maybe somebody even more powerful. Is Valdez in danger? We should warn him. You saw what happened to Agent West, right? He'll be fine. Valdez is a smart man. He knows how the game goes. The game? Valdez is a good agent. But more importantly, he's a good tin soldier. He takes orders from above without question. Look to his transfer to his this look to his transfer to this other case as an example. He didn't fight his unit chief on it at all. He was happy for the case to be handed to someone else. He knows as long as he does that, he'll never be in any real danger. Besides, he has a wide network of contacts of his own. He knows if he is wanted and what to do and what to do to no longer be wanted. For example, Look at the silly little mission they've sent him on. They sent him to Tulsa to follow a lead on two missing village fish packers from North Carolina. An FBI agent on the missing persons case? Are you kidding me? To fly him all the way to Oklahoma, put him in a hotel for three days, and even cover his food. All for a case that will not be solved thanks to the, his trip there. If that isn't misuse of bureau money, then I don't know what is. So Vadez will be fine? Uh, I'll put it this way. The copious amount of barbecue and pizza that boy consumes is a great risk to his life, is a greater risk to his life than any of these scenarios you are imagining. Huh, <laughs> I can believe that. So, what's our next step concerning the case? As you heard, the computer at the secret lab were wiped clean before the new FBI team got there, there. so we don't have enough evidence to make a compelling case anymore. How about the photos Valdez and I took? You mean the photos you two took after illegally breaking into a private facility? Yeah. Bolt's lawyers will shred that up in two seconds. We need those files to make a convincing case so we can finally see justice for all those victims. Any ideas? As a matter of fact, yes I do. I have an informant who I have been doing some undercover recon. She has yielded some highly useful information. As a matter of fact, you have met her before. Really? Who is it? Sky Davidson. She came to me thirsty for justice after what had happened, what had been done to her friend Rebecca Olson. She told me we are to meet her at her secret hideout today, as she has some very important information for us. Where is her secret hideout? It's an old abandoned house northwest of this lake. Let's go. We have to meet her before noon. Different car. <laughs> it's just up here at the end of this path. 
It's a nice old house from the 50s. Sky found it a couple of weeks ago and we use it to discuss the case. Okay, so this just requires following the path, so nothing no no too no too big deviations, I guess. Yeah, like there. <laughs> Lee, that all that at all that at all that broken glass and blood? Did the house always look like this? Not at all. Damn it, Sky. Where are you, Sky? We need to go in. Burden. Why does it like break? It literally breaks all the glass. Like it, it really hates glass. <laughs> okay. Is the furniture normally thrown around like this? No, not at all. Sky and I fixed this place up so she could stay here a while. Clearly something happened. We need to find Sky. I hear some noises. I'm going to go see if there is someone out back. Can you check to see if there is anyone in the living room in the front? Isn't it a bad idea to split up? Walk quietly and check your corners. If you see anyone, do not engage. I repeat, do not engage. Just find me and I'll handle it. Okay. I like to minimize the use of firearms anyway, especially since I'm, strictly speaking, not on the job. Okay. I'm gonna save here, just in case. Did it save? Yeah. Just wanna see if I can look at anything else. An unplugged, old unplugged fridge just looks like it's from the 70s. Old sink do doesn't seem the water is running. Lock, there must be a key around here somewhere. Very old dusty pot and pans. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Damn it, there's so many of them. I'll turn around finally and see what he thinks we should do. What the? Whoa. Lee, how did you, there were so many of them. I'm an army ranger for over 30 years of experience. They were just punks trying to be tough with their guns. They're all dead. I take it you had no choice? We need to find Sky. Okay, I can't collect evidence yet. How did you even get in here? I didn't tell you anything. Did I? Clean kill you rangers or something else. Okay, let's just... <laughs> Get upstairs, please. <laughs> we haven't explored the room yet. Oh, I wasn't trying to escape. Okay, I see the body at the end there. Sky, no. Lee, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's weird how she's just smiling in the photo. <laughs> The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He leadeth me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake. Yeah. I, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. They rod and thy staff comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That was beautiful. Is it from the Bible? Yes, yes it is from the Bible. Do you watch movies at all? You've never seen anything like that in the movie? <laughs> How many must die? How many to keep this corporation's evil secrets? 
All those students, Deputy Hill, Agent West, now Sky. I swear that I shall avenge all these awful deaths. I swear it. Bothy's full of gunshot wounds and bullets. We should try and bring her to. We haven't the time. We haven't the time, damn it. Lee. I'm so sorry, Sky. I should have never let you get involved. Why did you? She kept coming to me with more and more information. She would investigate and infiltrate. It's thanks to her I was able to find so much about Professor Conway and Bolt Pharmaceuticals. She was adamant and zealous. She wouldn't stop at nothing to see justice be done for her fallen friends. I kept telling her not to go any deeper, but I couldn't stop her. She even tracked me down and found my secret cabin. I really judged her wrong. Sky, you really put up one hell of a fight. I'm proud of you. Don't worry, Sky. I'll be back and give you all a proper burial. Give you a proper burial. What about her family? She had none. She was an orphan. Her friends in college were all she had. It must have been like a father figure to her. I guess. Oh look, she has a key on her. It must lead to something. Let's go downstairs and find out what. Okay. I'm assuming we're not going around collecting evidence. Small med kit. Oh, she was trying to heal herself. Spare magazine bullet taught her well. Listen, I'm just investigating things. Not quite a standoff. Oh, these are all bullets. Okay. So I don't think we have to collect evidence because... She set up a barrier to fight behind. Looks like she went, really went down fighting. Okay, I can't even... Is this all going to say the same thing? Yeah. Is this bullets as well? Oh, I can't touch that, so it's just garbage. Okay, so there is that one thing that was locked. This music is so loud right now. <laughs> I kind of wish it wasn't the case. Letter from Sky added to the inventory. Dear Lee, looks like they've been telling me, tailing me. They found my hiding spot and surrounded the house. I've been able to fight them off with a revolver and shotgun you gave me, but I think they worked out that I'm alone. I can hear them planning to rush me. I won't go down easy and plan to take a few of them down with me. Sorry I couldn't be there at the end. I've been tailing Bolt Pharmaceuticals head of security. It seems they change the password to the mainframe every day. Every morning a riddle Every morning a riddle is delivered to a secret mailbox in his house. If you can find the answer if you can find the answer, it unlocks a four digit pin that gives you access to all the company files. Use this information well. It seems as though it has cost me my life. See that justice is done for me and all my friends that have fallen. Sky Davison. Okay. So, answer a riddle. Unlocks a four-digit pin. Okay, let's exit the place. Just so, hopefully the music. Thank God, the music. The music was so loud. Okay, with that, I think we're going to end the set here. So thank you for liking if you like, thank you for commenting if you commented, thank you for subscribing if you subscribed, thank you for favoriting if you favorited, thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys, see ya!